Exploring China's epic mega projects, engineering marvels defining the future. China is the world's most populated country and one of the strongest in finance, trading, architecture, and construction. According to the Fitch Solutions Infrastructure Report, China is the world's largest construction market and is forecasted to grow at an annual average of 8.6% between 2022 and 2030. So let's see what all are the major projects in China. Welcome back to Grand Projects. Today we will see China's epic mega projects that define the future. To know more about such interesting topics, do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Here are a few major projects China has implemented and some future projects they plan to implement. Shanghai World Financial Center Cohn Peterson Fox designed a super tall skyscraper in the Pudong district of Shanghai. It was created by the Mori Building Company, China State Construction Engineering Corp, Shanghai Construction Group General, and structural engineer Leslie E. Robertson General Company as its main contractor. It is a multi-use skyscraper with conference rooms, offices, observation decks, hotels, and ground floor shopping malls. Park Hyatt Shanghai is the world's highest hotel, consisting of 174 suites and rooms in a tower. It occupies from the 79th to the 93rd floors of the building. It's the world's third biggest hotel after Ritz-Carlton Hong Kong. Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge it is a 55-kilometer-long bridge tunnel comprising an undersea tunnel, four artificial islands, and three cable-stayed bridges. The HZMB connects Hong Kong, Macau, and Zhuhai, three significant Chinese cities on the Pearl River Delta, across the Lingding and Jiuzhu waterways. It is the longest sea crossing and longest sea fix link in the world. The bridge was completed on February 6, 2018, but was open to the public on October 24th. Chinese President Xi Jinping inaugurated it on October 23rd. Hong Kong, Zhuhai, and Macau, three significant cities that are physically close yet separated by water, are connected by the HZMB. With the bridge in place, it took only 30 minutes to drive from Zhuhai to Hong Kong instead of the usual four hours. This project is a component of a Beijing-driven plan to establish an economic hub and encourage the economy's growth throughout the Pearl River Delta, also known as the Greater Bay Area. Shanghai Yangtze River Tunnel and Bridge Close to the Yangtze River's mouth in Shanghai, there is a bridge tunnel complex that crosses the river's south branch. Changqing Island is connected to the Changdong district of Shanghai on the south side of the river by a tunnel, while Changdong Island is connected to Chongming Island by a bridge. The bridge tunnel complex is the last crossing of the Yangtze before it empties into the East China Sea along with the Chongqing Bridge, which connects Chongming Island to the North Bank. The estimated cost of building the bridge and tunnel is 1.86 billion US dollars and it took around four years from 2005 to 2009 to make. The bridge's overall curve is somewhat sigmoid rather than linear. Three Gorges Dam a hydroelectric gravity dam, the Three Gorges Dam crosses the Yangtze River in the town of San Duping in the central Chinese province of Hubei, downstream from the Three Gorges. It is located in Yiling District, Yichang. Since 2012, the Three Gorges Dam has held the title of the largest installed power plant in the world. In 2006, the dam body was finished. On July 4, 2012, when the final of the underground facility's primary water turbines started operating, the power plant for the dam project was finished and running at full capacity. The capacity of each direct water turbine is 700 megawatts. The dam's overall electric generating capacity is 22,500 megawatts when its 32 main turbines are combined with two smaller generators, each 50 megawatts, to run the facility. The Yangtze River's shipping capacity is anticipated to be increased by the dam in addition to producing power. By providing a flood storage area, the barrier lessens the likelihood of floods downstream, which have historically plagued the Yangtze Plain. Up to 4 million people were killed in flooding on the river in 1931. China sees the project as a huge social and economic success due to the design of cutting-edge big turbines and the effort to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Together with natural changes, the dam has increased the risk of landslides. The barrier has generated controversy, both domestically and internationally, as a result. Nanjing Metro Line 
The rapid transit system known as the Nanjing Metro serves the urban and suburban areas of Nanjing, the provincial capital of Jiangsu in the People's Republic of China. Initial plans for a metro system to help Nanjing date back to 1984, and the State Planning Commission finally gave its blessing in 1994. The first 16 stations of Line 1 underwent construction beginning in 1999 and it opened in 2005. The system comprises 12 lines, 208 stations and 449.45 kilometers of track. The Nanjing Metro Group Company is in charge of its operation and upkeep. 30 more lines are scheduled to open as part of future expansion plans, while several more are waiting for permission to start construction. It was completed for $1.7 billion. The Metro Line Updation Plan also identified four subway lines crossing the Yangtze River. Hangzhou Bay Bridge The Hangzhou Bay Mouth Highway Bridge in the eastern coastline region of China is a long 35.7-kilometer highway bridge with two distinct cable-stayed segments. It links the Zhejiang Province municipalities of Jiaqing and Ningbo. On June 14, 2007, the bridge's construction was finished, and on June 26, 2007, a ceremony to mark its opening took place. After extensive testing and inspection, the bridge was officially inaugurated on May 1, 2008. Cable-stayed bridges are the type used for the Hangzhou Bay Bridge. This design was chosen for the project due to the cable-stayed bridge's resilience under challenging circumstances. The Yangtze River Delta, Hangzhou Bay, and the Qiangtang River Delta all suffer some of the strongest tidal bore forces on Earth, and these regions are where the bridge was built. The area where the bridge is located is also vulnerable to earthquakes and experiences very heavy winds during typhoon season. The form and materials used to construct the bridge were chosen based on their ability to withstand the various stresses it would encounter. Wuhan Greenland Center the 1,562-foot-tall Wuhan Greenland Center is a skyscraper in Wuhan, China. The tower's height was changed from 2,087 feet to no more than 1,640 feet above sea level during construction because of airspace limitations. The tower was built for Greenland Group, a real estate firm controlled by the Shanghai Municipal Government. Adrian Smith and Gordon Gill Architects designed it in collaboration with Thornton Tomasetti Engineers. After the redesign in the middle of 2017, the construction was often put on hold for various reasons, including financial difficulties and the COVID-19 pandemic. The structure was finally finished in 2022 towards the end of 2020. These are just a few exciting projects, as China is one of the best in the construction field, we can expect more in the future. You may have heard about some of these projects, comment below with your favorite ones. Stay tuned for more such content and refer to other videos on our channel. Also remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button.